Good morning, guys. I am officially declaring January our worst month ever. How are you feeling? Good. Good. <laughs> oh, good poor girl. girl. Good. Yeah, she's been sick all night. Which okay. means I've been up all night. Sam's been up all night. It's another okay. snow day. I've been up all night. And I said to Gabby last night, we did it, you guys. We got the bunnies completely separated. We took out the box. They can't get into each other's cages anymore. And then we saw, sorry, this. Sophia's bunny? My bunny. Gabby's bunny. Dude, you cannot be in that cage. Ugh. Crazy boy. A crazy boy. He's shy. He's he camera is shy. shy. He's camera shy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and he's shy of his new best friend, but he loves her. <laughs> All right, stick him in. Now that they have no bed over there, they've been sleeping in the food bowl. Mom, look at all the shavings. Yeah, she she pushes it up there like <coughs> she's still working on her nest. Look at how messy this is. <coughs> how sweet my bunny looks. Look how sweet her bunny looks. You look sweet, even though you've been <coughs> puking all night. So sweet her bunny looks. And I'm liking that he's not getting ill anymore. Yeah. Let's check the babies. Gabby and I are out shopping because Sophia is sick and we've been up all night and now I have a frog in my throat and we are at where are we at? Green and what are we getting? A vest and stirrups. That's right, we are. That one doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. Especially no. when you're gonna if you wear a coat or something. If you had a coat underneath then yes. But it looks probably just gonna wear a sweater. Maybe the top you can adjust too. Yes. Yeah. What do you think? It does seem a little too big here. What do you think about that one? Text your mom first. Sure. Or if you're sitting like that, is it like gonna affect you? Zip okay. it all the way up. Uh, I think I've got Can I just the shoulders a little bit? I like this one better. Because it's smaller, right? Yeah. Tighter fitting. So is that the small women? Yes. Yeah. Alright, what do you think? Yeah, okay, we'll get that one then. I'm declaring January the worst month. January is always a crazy month. I think everywhere probably, everybody's always sick in January. Anyway, I have Sophie on the couch. Poor Sophie. Her cheeks are so red, I swear she has fifth disease, um, which she has a little bit of a rash, a high fever. She's been throwing up all night. She's feeling terrible, but she says she doesn't feel nearly as bad as she did with that last virus that she just had. I always try and remember how super fortunate we are that we hardly ever get sick. One month every year is not so bad. Sam and Gabby are gone to get some stuff. Gabby's supposed to be jumping, um, starting to jump again this week, and she's really nervous to be jumping on Sabrina, so she has gone to get a vest because she just wants to be um, jumping with a vest. Look at Gabby with that one. All right, let's get the other stuff we need to get. <laughs> and it's the kind I wanted to. All right, yeah. that's what we need. Yeah. All right, we're at our second store. We're looking for antacid for Sabrina. And we'll see if they got any here. And there's a favorite horse in the window, isn't it? Big horse. Yeah. I like the halter. It's pink. No, it's the exact same halter we have for Sabrina, except it's pink. Oh, all right. So look at this hook pick. This will come in handy. Because yeah. it's got a light. It's a light. Turn it on. Yeah, see, you can see what you're doing. It's dark there, you know? It's like all shadowy. And you can hardly see yeah. it. Yeah. Gabby's looking for a. What are you looking for? A gel hoof pick? Yeah. Gel one. Don't see any. Stir Blothers. Holy oh, jeez. This is $130. 130 bucks. These ones are at least 50. 54. So Sam and Gabby just got back and she's gonna show me what she got. So we needed some breakaway stirrups because Sabrina does not have those. And after Sophie's fall the other day, we were like, we, we need to get, get those. Dry. No. 
So I think so, God was trying to tell us so get if them. You stir up like so if your foot goes like this, like really hard against that, this will just rip yeah. off and your foot can slide out and you could fall off safely. And you could live. Yes. Gabby I finally got the thing that she's been wanting and the thing that she's been needing. Fiona told us <laughs> that she's gonna start jumping Sabrina this week. So hopefully she's gonna start jumping. Sometimes it changes, but she's supposed to start jumping her this week. So she finally got my riding vest. I know a lot of you guys have been thinking that she needs one, so now she has one. Yeah. We're gonna leave the tags on until we make sure with Fiona that it fits right. Did you try it on in the store? Yeah. I'm sure you guys will let us know too if you think it's the right size. It's a women's small because... Because the women's medium. Oh. So we're not gonna leave tag the tag thing. on. <laughs> you broke. I'm not gonna leave the tag on because the tag doesn't want to stay on. It wants to go in the garbage. Looks good, you like it? Yeah. Turn and around. this like is fully adjustable. Yeah. But I like it because like it lets me like move better than the um, medium one. Like it lets me two point way better. Okay, like, sit down. Two point sit down like you're sitting on a horse. On a coffee table or something, on that thing. Oh yeah, I think it'll fit. Yeah, it fits. It fits. Good, now you won't even have to be afraid of falling. <laughs> right? Yeah, falling is just like, like, no, I don't want to fall on my arms. It's weird, but if you fall on your back, it doesn't even hurt. I didn't fall hard though. You look kind of like a turtle. <laughs> you can shoot me now. <laughs> You know how there's a two hour window, two uh, within two hours of falling asleep, it's like your eyes are glued so shut you cannot open them no matter what? Well, two hours after I was asleep, Sophie woke up puking, and Sam and I were standing in a room like, could not see for the sleep in our eyes, thinking like, what do we have to do here? And it change her bed, get her all freshened up, get her all clean, get her some drinks, get her some medicine, get her some, yeah. It was crazy, and then, Finally, I fell back asleep again, and apparently Sam got up another two hours later. <laughs> I didn't even hear him, and got her all fixed up again. And then we are up so early this morning, because I always wake up when Sam goes to work, and then his work phone le had left a message that said, hey, don't come in, because the weather's really bad. We had a huge ice storm, and then we both went right back upstairs and went to bed. I was all dressed, had my hair done, and we climbed back into bed. So it's warm out now. And all the ice and all the snow is melting, so we just have a big, huge puddle of mess. Gabby is making a fort in our little tiny snow hill. I'm trying to stay awake. Sam, I'm sure, is resting. Sophie is resting. It's just been a crazy time. But you know, it feels like a spring day. It feels warm out. Fun fact, in Canada, our spring is colder than most countries' winters shopping just Sam and I because the girls wanted to stay home Sophie's still sick and we're always in the pet section these are the cutest cactuses look how cute I've never seen colored ones before I really like those sick girl Sophie I don't know I've decided she either has fifth fifth disease or scarlet fever which obviously she probably does not have scarlet fever but she is a sick sick girl huh so she's sitting exactly where she was last night the exact same amount of sick probably even more sick because she's been throwing up huh she can't keep anything down this has been a bad month for you hasn't it 
every January. If you look back in our videos, every January she's sick. But as long as she doesn't get pneumonia, I am okay with a little bit of sick. I hope she gets better soon though. When she woke up, cause we were, Sophia was sleeping when mom and dad were out and we were at home with Nick. So she was sleeping. When she finally woke up when they were home, um, she was, her face was all purple. Yeah. Purple. Her red. face is purple. She has a rash, just like a funny little rash that sometimes she gets a rash when she has a virus, so it's hard to tell. I could take her to the doctor, but I'm gonna play it by ear and see how she is first. <coughs> Nobody wants to go to the doctor and sit in a waiting room when they feel like this, huh? So uh, we're just gonna wait and see, and hopefully she'll be okay. If there's any changes, I will take her in, huh? Can I feel this, huh? Sure. Okay. So before I end today's video, I wanted to show you guys the horse that we're gonna see on Saturday. And the reason that um, I chose him to go see is because he's local enough that we could actually go see him. A lot of you, guys, a lot of the horses that you guys have been sending us, um, I email about them. And I email five horses a day, and I probably get one response out of all those five horses. It's just crazy. Anyway, this guy. Um, he is local enough that we can go see. Most of the horses that you guys sent us are so far away. It has to be something that we really plan to go and see because um, of the distance. So this is the horse that we're going to go and see. This is him. His name is Tommy. He is a 17.1 hand high bay, 15 year old thoroughbred packer gelding. This gentle giant is well built, looks like a warm blood and has stunning hack winning movement. He has amazing barn manners and is excellent for the farrier and vet. Tommy is successfully competing three feet after practicing that height with his current rider since July 2017. A very sweet amateur friendly horse without a mean bone in his body. Bomb proof everywhere on trails, roads, etc. We are selling because the owner is off to university and he needs a new home. Sound, healthy, no vices, ready to go. Um, and then there's some videos for him. So basically, uh, there's, he seems like he's probably too much horse for us. I emailed about her and told her our situation and asked if he would be a good fit for us. And she said he's a gentle giant. It, like Millhouse. Millhouse is scared of everything. Thinks everything's gonna eat him, and then um, he's like a dog, though. Yeah, like a like a like, like a, a little dog. yeah. Anyway, he's like a chihuahua. Well, yeah, and anyway, so we're probably not gonna get this horse because he is really huge, and I need to take care of my girl so right, right. Um, but it's important to go see all sorts of different horses. Ben is like seventeen one, like the same size, so like. I could ride Ben, Sophia could ride Ben. He's yeah. a gentle giant. Yeah, so basically we're going to see him because he's really he's close enough that we can go and see him. You never know. I've had friends tell me that the most kid-friendly horse at their barn is the biggest horse at their barn. And chances are this guy's not for us, but I think it's important that we try all different kind of horses because um we honestly don't we don't have a lot of experience. I think it's a learning experience and I think that the more horses we try before we buy is is a good thing I'm sure people are going to disagree with me because that seems to be the way it is because I really don't know that much but um, I think trying lots of horses is good and I emailed her and she said like I said that he she is a she teaches she teaches um, kids riding she teaches riding and she's 65 and she rides him around Obviously she has more experience than us, but she definitely assures me that he is really um, gentle and safe. So we're gonna try him, we're gonna see what happens, and we'll see you guys tomorrow when I when we finally are back to the barn for lessons. Bye guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.